Um, Ms. Shumima Ali, the coordinator for the Fiji Women's Crisis Center. Distinguished guests, delegates from across the Pacific, the staff of FWCC. It's an absolutely amazing way to start a week, being here with you to open a really important training program that will run for the next four weeks. We find ourselves at the precipice of a critical time as a region. While we look at issues of green growth, of rising food, water, and energy prices, resource depletion, climate change, security, changing disease patterns, the list goes on. What remains central is the need for gender equality. If we are to realize our regional aspirations as a blue Pacific continent, gender equality must lie front and center of that. I just got back from an exciting week of triennial conference, ministers for women meeting, and also the Pacific Islands Forum Women Leaders Meeting. I say exciting because the level of interactions from our ministers during those two ministerial meetings was at a level I'd never seen before. And I've seen a few of these meetings. The articulation of issues, the realization of how central gender equality lies in the national development agenda, the recognition that gender-based violence is still a critical element that we need to address, that we need to grasp. And that is why I'm saying it's such a great way to start the week, being here with you on this regional trading program. Gender-based violence remains one of the most pervasive human rights violations in the world, with one in three women suffering physical or sexual violence in their, life, in their lifetime. In the Pacific, that's, that statistic is doubled. Two out of three women in the Pacific suffer that. Violence against women and girls takes a profound and long-term toll on women's health and well-being, on their families and communities, and on a nation and nation's development. This regional training program on gender, violence against women and girls, and human rights, organized by the Fiji Women's Crisis Center, has been continuously organized since 1995. It is a flagship program for the FWCC as Secretariat of the Pacific Women's Network Against Violence Against Women. I acknowledge the leadership of Shamima in this space and her relentless efforts in ensuring that our region is better informed and better equipped to identify gender-based violence and address it in the context of our different countries. Response and prevention mechanisms, counseling services, laws and policies are all critical components which we will all be unpacking during this course. It is encouraging that the program will also be addressing technology-facilitated gender-based violence as an emerging issue. As practitioners, you have a critical role to play in this sector. What you do is more than just a job. It is a calling. Survivors of gender-based violence rely on you for intervention. It is not an easy responsibility that you carry. As you unpack and learn about the many facets of addressing gender-based violence in the weeks ahead, you will be faced with some confronting truths about the social, religious, and cultural spaces that we live in as Pacific people. Don't be afraid to ask questions and push boundaries of what you know to be true in the knowledge that you are learning not only for yourselves, but more importantly, for the women and girls that you serve in your different jurisdictions. I wish you all a very productive and impactful learning event.